Just as the opening ceremony of the 2019 Southeast Asian Games was about to begin in the largest arena in the world, a formation of unidentified unmanned aerial vehicles appeared over the airspace. Filipino President Rodrigo Duterte was set to arrive aboard his presidential helicopter only minutes later, and the potential security threat could only be confronted with a high-tech anti-drone gun. Fortunately, that's just what the presidential security team had in its hands. That day, President Duterte and more than 50,000 people breathed a sigh of relief thanks to the mighty Australian dual-handed drone gun tactical, one of the most unique guns in existence. The Drone Gun Tactical The only thing growing faster than the ever-increasing development of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones is the race to create technology capable of destroying them. In recent years, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and other international organizations have begun testing multi-layered drone defenses, including weapons specifically designed to disable unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, without destroying them outright. This way, investigators can forensically examine them and identify their origin, enabling the process of developing particular countermeasures to defeat them. Based in Sydney, but with offices in the United States and the United Kingdom, Drone Shield is a security company focused on creating solutions that protect civilians, organizations, and critical infrastructure from rogue unmanned aerial vehicles. And the organization is trying to become a staple in that niche market with its drone gun tactical. The device, a refined and more portable version of its predecessor, the Drone Gun Mark II, is the latest installment of a safe countermeasure against a wide range of drone threats. It works as a handheld system that uses radio frequency jamming to disrupt the links between the seemingly hostile UAVs and our operators without using ammunition or a catching net. The Drone Gun Tactical is larger than the average gun, about 56 inches long and 18 inches tall. However, it weighs only 16 pounds when loaded, and the device has no need for a heavy accompanying backpack, making it easier to carry and operate during an emergency. It is essentially a lightweight, robust rifle design, featuring a high-powered directional antenna that is so robust it drowns out other drones' antennas with a signal that turns off the controller's instructions. This is achieved by using an intuitive interface that allows the user to select several frequencies for target defeat. Through the use of radio frequency jamming that disrupts other drones' operator links, the Drone Gun Tactical can reach UAVs more than a mile and a quarter away, providing a countermeasure against a wide range of enemy drones in a safe method for the user. In addition, a GPS blocker add-on is available for the guns, ensuring that the rogue craft will simply descend to the ground instead of flying home. Powered by two rechargeable 14.4-volt lithium battery packs, the device can work for up to two hours of straight jamming, which is enough to take down up to a dozen drones. The future of anti-drone weapons. Although this inventive device looks like it was pulled straight out of a science fiction movie, the use of the drone gun tactical is not available for ordinary civilians, and the company has asserted that it, quote, has not been authorized as required by the United States Federal Communications Commission. This device is not and may not be offered for sale or lease in the United States other than to the United States government until such authorization is obtained. The Australian gun, with a market value of $69 million, has already been acquired by several nations and organizations in the world, including the United States, the Southeast Asian Army, and the European Union. In 2019, Drone Shield's Drone Gun Tactical was selected as the European Union's police force's elite solution for anti-drone weapons following a competitive contest. The process, run by the Belgian police, considered factors from all across the European Union, and sales and troop training began that same year. Although the agreement signed in May of 2020 did not specify quantities, it is expected that the product will be rolled out to the police forces throughout an extended period and the company anticipates that the initial contract was only the beginning of a multi-million dollar agreement that will also become a platform for sales of their other products. Drone Shield's chief executive officer, Oleg Vornik, claimed that the product's delivery was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic, but is now back on track, stating that the order is, quote, an exciting win in a number of ways. While this initial purchase is small, it represents the first purchase under what we expect to be a multi-million dollar agreement. 
supplying drone guns and associated counter UAS products across dismounted vehicle and fixed site range to police forces across the EU. The counter drone gun was also successfully demonstrated during the 2020 United States Army Defense In-Depth Exercise, or DDEX, where the drone gun technical proved its worth. Then, in December of 2021, an unspecified Five Eyes nation signed a follow-up order to acquire the weapon. According to Vornik, the deal validates Drone Shield's AI-enabled signals intelligence drone sentry platform software, which uses artificial intelligence across multiple spectrums, including radio frequency and computer vision, to deliver accurate threat awareness and dominance. The state-of-the-art software is designed to support large-volume data processing from multiple domains. Anti-Drone Gun in Action Specific details have been withheld from the public since the beginning, although the drone gun tactical has already saved at least one president. The first recognized operational use of the Australian device occurred in 2019 during the opening ceremony of the 30th Southeast Asian Games, held in the Philippine Arena located in Ciudad de Victoria in northern Philippines. On November 30th, Combined elements from the Presidential Security Group and Drone Shield's Philippines partner, FIS GOC Games Safety and Security Counter Drone Team from Safer PH Innovations, managed to shoot down seven unidentified drones suspected of posing a danger to President Rodrigo Duterte and almost 50,000 attendees. Only minutes before the arrival of the presidential helicopter to the world's largest arena, four nefarious drones suddenly appeared on its path prompting the security team to launch the safety protocol and use the Drone Shield handheld systems to prevent the UAVs from nearing the vehicle's rotor blades, potentially causing a catastrophic crash. According to an exclusive report published after the incident, three drones were taken down before Duterte's arrival, and four drones on the helicopter's flight path were simultaneously taken down. The drones were not recovered, and no information on their origins was obtained. However, it is known that said UAVs were of the commercial type, capable of taking videos. And at least one of them came from the Malaysian team, as the owners were unaware that the area was a no-fly zone. Tight security was enforced during the closing ceremony, and the event proceeded without any eventualities. Most recently, in June of 2021, US President Joe Biden met with King Philippe of Belgium in a government building in the capital of Brussels to discuss the pandemic, international diplomatic relations, climate change, and upcoming technologies. Images shared on social media showed Belgian security forces using a combination of handheld anti-drone devices to protect the meeting, including the drone gun tactical. The other weapon used by the Belgian police was the Skywall Patrol, developed by UK-based defense company OpenWorks Engineering. The use and deployment of the Australian device during the meeting was a reminder of how serious the threat of drone attacks on high-value targets is around the world. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like. And if you want to see a specific topic covered in one of our videos, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, for more history-inspired content, make sure to subscribe to all of our channels, and hit the bell icon to be the first to be notified of our newest content.